I first touched it on my when I got my bar mitzvah today a couple like a couple years ago in fourth grade. I remember holding the Torah with my family and finding out my date. Um, it was here one time last year. We were doing like a little project for like the younger kids, and like they were like finding, we were like taking the Torah out and then like trying to like read some of it. Um, I once almost dropped it. Um, yeah, um, I went to my sister's bat mitzvah, and we I got to open the Torah, like, gate, and it is very fun. I have a memory. It's a very long, hundred-page thing, a lot of the Jewish blessings. It felt, like, wholesome that I was going to be accepted into the community, and it felt just like I was being, just like, just quite, like, allowed to be with other people. Through, like understood me. Yeah, last year in Sunday school, we got to go and touch. It's like um, like a dresser for it, and it was kind of heavy, but I I could tell there's a lot of there's a lot of room. Touched it in the synagogue when I was way younger. It felt like really memorable, really cool to like be part of this and be part of like the Jewish community. So I touched it once, and I was so proud. Cause like I never, cause when I was younger, I thought like it means a lot to me, and I love that I'm Jewish. It felt built to me because like the paper was thin, okay. and like the book was so heavy. Yeah, Swenson Hebrew School when we we were going on a field trip, I got to touch the Torah. Well, there was one time when we were opening and closing it up on the bina, and I got to go touch it and walk around with it. Mm-hmm. Um, it's funny because that's when I almost dropped it. Yeah, we went on like the stage, mm-hmm. and we opened to the Torah, and we had to yeah. uh, it. So they must get out of like so much stuff. I don't know why this whole percent took a piece of paper. You could just, you could just print.